What's up, my fans? It's Monday, so it's time to rip open my sack and see what's inside. My mail sack. Each week leading up to an increasingly incoherent Triple THS on Wednesday, I use my infinite wisdom to answer your questions on everything from MMA to astrophysics. You fuckers did such a good job of making questions this week, I decided to answer 20 instead of 10. Let's do this shit! Call me Sack! First up, David Spears. Tommy, you look very familiar. Were you Zap from American Gladiators? I know we look similar, David, but I didn't play Zap. I did play Dan Deardorff, though, but I was replaced in the second season by the actual Dan Deardorff, who was then replaced by Tito Ortiz, and then the show was subsequently canceled. Next up, Missy Estrada. What's up with the Black Zillions, man? Missy, it's all a matter of perspective. Because if you measure success at UFC 156 as having the best entrance, catching the most jabs, and losing to underdogs, then I would say the Black Zillions were the winningest winners of all. This one's from at Danielle's Twits. When do you believe the UFC will be purchasing Bellator? Will it be a combo deal with the World Series of Fighting? Danielle, I'd say within the next few minutes. They will get a combo deal, and actually, if Dana acts now, he'll get a third MMA promotion absolutely free. Plus two slap chops, the P90X program, and the keys to a 1998 Honda Accord LS. Our gift to you. Alex Bedwell! Tommy, how can I get a cameo voice on your show with my character being naked and riding a dragon? Um... I can't imagine a scenario where I would need a voiceover for a naked character riding a dragon, but if I do, we will give you a call. Maybe. This one's from Christopher Marshall. Will Edgar drop down to have a rematch with Mighty Mouse now that he lost the rematch with Jose Aldo? Or do you think it's best for him to wait for the women's fight and have a rematch with Rousey? I think he should hold out for a rematch with himself. Just Frankie in the octagon for five rounds, punching his own face, and showing all kinds of heart. Only problem is, at the end of the 25 minutes, half of Frankie's fans will still feel like they got shafted. All right, this one comes from Middle Easy's own Bowson. At the end of the main event, did you feel the UFC should give both fighters a line of coke and send them back out there for five more? I think all Frankie Edgar fights should be to the death from now on. That way, there's no longer controversy at the end of the fight. Of course, if you ever fought Korean Zombie, there might be a gray area in there somewhere, but we'd work it out. This one's from Jack Strider. After getting the douchebag knocked right out of him, where does the ring go from here? Challenge JDS or Horse Meat Buffet? I think his next move will be waking up. Not entirely sure, but I think I saw him lying in the corner of the octagon during the Aldo Edgar fight. I fully expect Michael McDonald to trip over him in a few weeks when he fights Hen and Morale. This one's from Doug Farley. Jesus can walk on water, and I can walk on bodies. Bodies are 70% water. Does that mean I'm 70% Jesus? I think that makes you 70% jackass for stepping on people. I'm just kidding, Doug. Jesus be with you. Invicta fighter Laura Sanko. If Liz front kicks Ronda square in the cooter. Will they stop and let her recover? Never had it happen to me in a fight. Yet. The old cunt pun, eh? I'm not entirely sure if a ref would stop the fight for that. My guess is Dan Mergliato would allow it. Kim Winslow would ask him to stand up. This one's from Sid Rival. What would happen if Aldo decided to kick you in one of your tiny ass legs? Would you die? Follow-up question. If he decided to kick you in your beard, would he die? I don't think I would die, but I would definitely have to walk on my hands for the rest of my life. So pretty much business as usual there. If he kicked me in the beard, it would only serve to galvanize it, turning it into a weapon that would rival the Master Sword. This one's from at Booney515. What do you call your pack of followers? Toe jam? Fungus? Hangnails? Idiots? Lame? Hill figures? It's either Toeheads or Beliebers. I haven't decided yet. Okay, this one's from Rachel on Twitter. Why is being the shit equal your kick ass, but being shitty, you suck? T.Y. so transformative, so yin and yang. Ancient Chinese secret? Rachel, I think it has more to do with the part of speech. Shitty is an adjective, while being the shit turns you into a noun. You've become a whole other thing. Adding the to a word will pretty much make anything badass. So if I said you were crusty, that sounds mean. But if I said you were the crust, well now you sound like a fucking badass. Maybe. Another one from Twitter, at SXOlt. Why did I give Bigfoot such a small hat after he won? That hat was actually molded from the Epcot Center in Florida. Took 45 laborers six weeks to construct, and nearly the entire crew died. They say if you hold that hat up to your ear, you can still hear their screams. Michael Hartley. Dear Mr. Clean, if Tokon and Razor from TMNT 2 challenged the ultimate warrior and Alistair over him to a staring contest, who do you think would flinch first? Michael, the warrior can't lose because his face is covered by the Intercontinental title at all times. Family that I live for only freeze the air that smells of combat! Alright, Shane McNulty. What was your favorite Super Bowl commercial? I really liked the 34-minute Mercedes-Benz commercial at the beginning of the third quarter. It was a risky ad campaign, but I think they pulled it off. Next question, Alan Oglesby. What did Frankie do to make the judges hate him? Did he steal their hearts to create a super heart? He must have. But I'm pretty sure there's some rules against having a super heart, so Frankie should stash those extra hearts in Mark Hominick's hematoma in between fights. Tanner Russ. Do you have the normal amount of human teeth in your mouth, or is it just two big ones on top and bottom? Tanner, dental hygiene's a big issue in Toontown. A bunch of cartoons don't even have teeth. I used to have a normal set, but side effects from the horse meat have forced me to get dentures. So when I headed to the dentist, I said, fuck having a bunch of teeth to clean. Just give me two giant ones with a little line on the left side of them to indicate the possibility of a larger amount of teeth. This question is from at Herm H. If Herb Dean wasn't there to stop him, would Bigfoot have eaten over him soul Shang Tsung style and become Uberfoot? It looks like that's where things were heading. Of course, you're forgetting that Bigfoot would also have absorbed the souls of all the horses eaten by Overeem, turning him into Hidalgo Reem. 
foot. Peter Boardman! Hey Tommy, is it true you're taking the Brazilian fighters to the next step by teaching them Zumba? You know it, Peter. With my help, the Brazilians will finally beat the Black Zillions when it comes to walkout dancing. Last question of the day, Highside12 on Twitter. Would you recommend kids consider a career as a YouTube animation? Oh, absolutely. The hours are great, the pay is way better than it should be, I just read what this guy writes for me to say, and I pretty much get to sit around and do nothing all day. The only way kids are gonna live a life like me is by animating themselves or becoming a politician. That's all I got, Fight Fans. If I didn't answer your questions, just pretend I said your name after one of the funny ones. Don't forget to check me out this Wednesday, there'll be horse meat, big feet, and rematches all over the place. See you then, guys.